Oh, I'm making you something real good. A grilled seafood pasta. Okay? Oh, wow. So wow. this is a recipe that's inspired by coastal Italian towns like Sorrento, where mm. they serve these delicious fresh seafood pastas. So yummy. And to make my dish really authentic for you guys. Authentical. Yes, I went shopping in a place that's as close to Italy as you can get in the US. Arthur Avenue, New York City's Little Italy, where I went to find the freshest seafood for my grilled pasta with local chef Eleonora Scarpetta. We like to use any kind of fish. There's yeah. no set rule. Yeah. So I'm starting with shrimp. Look for large pieces. It will add a sweet, plump bite. Scallops are great to add. They're mild and buttery and delicious when grilled. For mussels or clams, shop smaller ones. They're tender and release their flavorful juice right into the sauce. Salt pack capers add a briny flavor that pairs perfectly with seafood. One last thing. Yes. No cheese on seafood, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> on Arthur Avenue in the Bronx, which I like yes. to say is New York City's other little Italy. Mm -hmm. And there's so many great shops up there. I, I love to do my shopping, and I, I ate everything that I could. And uh, now we're gonna make this seafood pasta. So this is a really simple recipe. It's gonna have so much flavor. GZ, can you help me out by getting some parsley out of the garden and I chop got that, that up? And I've got those beautiful shrimp and scallops that I bought. And one of the keys to getting really good, you know, like that nice sear on your shrimp and scallops is to blot them dry with a paper towel. This is really important because you want as much moisture taken out of it as possible so that when it hits the grill, it's not just steaming the moisture off of it first, it's actually searing the protein. And I'm gonna hit it with a generous amount of salt. What, Don't be afraid to too? season. Oh yeah, my capers. Okay. Yeah, I got those salt pack capers, but you can find the them in the grocery store in a jar, and you got to rinse them off first. And How do you guys feel about that culinary uh, myth in <coughs> Italy about the cheese and the seafood? Because it can work together. Yeah, I don't I, have I, real I, I rules like I mean, that. There, yeah. There are parts of people in Sicily. Depends on where you are. They actually add a little bit. I think, I think it's okay. like a little pecorino or yeah. a parmesan I mean, would not yeah. be I think it depends on the dish pasta. and yeah. depends where you are. It's it's lobster shrimp. mac and cheese. Hello? Hello. Delicious. But that's not Italian. I mean, maybe like a <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put so this right onto the grill. And these cook so quickly. It's really only about a minute or two on each side because they're going to finish in the pasta. Well, some say that the cheese no. overwhelms the pasta. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. let's just put it out there as to well, why. Well, it can. It can. Hey, OK, guys. Sorry. Pay attention in class. Sorry. All right, <laughs> the good. next step to making this pasta, I'm using a jarred sauce that is roasted garlic tomato sauce. So this adds a real extra depth of flavor by having that roasted garlic. So that's just going to go straight into a pan that's on the grill. And now I'm going to just add to this, since we're doing seafood, I like to put some lemon zest into the sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. And then some of those capers that GZ oh. chopped. I think capers are my favorite thing oh. in the what, top fridge. Top 10, top 10. Yeah. yeah, next to pickled jalapenos. Like in a jar to add a little extra something. Can't lemon really juice taste the sauce. and some fresh parsley. So those go in, all right, you give that a stir, and then those beautiful little clams that I got go right in. Oh. Now, you just need to close the grill and let that cook until the clams open up. GZ, can you grab some more parsley for me? Because I, I want to add some more at the I end sure will. to this, OK? Let's go easy on the garden. We're really, really, really putting a dent in it today, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I've got some here that's already cooked for a little while, and those have opened up, and they release their own juices into the sauce, and it gives you this great extra little seafood flavor. I'm going to flip my shrimp and my scallops. Those look so good. And by grilling it, you get this extra little smoky bit on there, which reminds me, I forgot to throw my lemon on the grill. Oh, I no. love to grill the lemon good. for this. Ooh. Yeah, let's get those on there. Did you put anything on the lemon or just straight on the grill? Just straight on the grill. I just throw it right on. And that's going to give this extra smoky flavor. OK, so this looks great. I'm going to add to it some of my pasta water. So when you cook your pasta, always save that water because you've seasoned it with a lot of salt, so there's flavor in there. And also, the starch from the pasta is going to help bring the whole sauce together. Now I'm going to add to this 
Jeezy, some of those herbs, please. You want to yes. toss those in? I like a Go. little extra herb at the end with the pasta. Oh, like so I'm using about 12 ounces of linguine, oh. cooked very al dente, because it is going to continue to cook here in the sauce. I'm going to toss that in. Oh, it looks so good. This smells great. Let's give it a good toss. Here we go. And it takes so, it's so quick on the grill. It's so fast. Yeah. And again, very little cleanup. That's why I love my summer grilling. Toss the whole thing together. And this is a way that you kind of feel like you're on vacation when you're at home. It's like a great little staycation moment. Okay. This is looking great. Smells good. Let's add a little touch of pepper to it. Boom. And I'm gonna put one little last hit of salt. This looks great. I'm gonna oh, toss it baby. into a bowl oh. over here. That, it's, it smells mm -hmm. great. Well, I'm gonna come over here, man. All right, Jeezy, will you take the tongs and help me? Yes. I'm gonna hold this. Ooh, and if you'll you just ready? help me put it into the bowl. Go. Oh. Go. 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 So just got a hit. Go. Oh, me. What's up with tomato sauce? It splashes everywhere. It does it? splash. You That's need why to wear it's good. a bib. You do it outside, though. Clean yeah. up the outside. And then I'm gonna grab from over here so my you get lemons. To taste, nice. You get to taste sausage lemon's sandwiches. Pretty. I get to taste this. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, nice catch. Okay, let's wipe this bowl down, make it look really nice. That looks beautiful. And then I'm gonna take these grilled lemons. Oh, great idea, and just Katie. So good. Squeeze it right over. And that gives this nice, bright, smoky, lemony flavor right at the end. Oof. Juicy, you want to yep. bite of this? You know, I've never oh. finished a tomato sauce with a grilled lemon. Me That's neither. That's new for me. Yeah, you know, I think whenever you're doing yeah. seafood, a hit of lemon's not a bad idea. And in that Sorrento region, lemons, you know, you see it everywhere. A little scallop, Katie. Yeah, you can oh, have a little you scallop. Order up. Can do a good right. one. And he actually calls it a scallop, not yeah, a scallop. Yeah, I heard so. that. Yeah. Is that wrong? Yeah, you no, that's wrong. the it's fancy way. Fancy. You know, <laughs> nothing you do is wrong. Well, I was supposed to say it. Nothing you do is wrong. Well, Trust we've that. established that, but how do I say it? <laughs> scallop. Is it scallop? Seriously? Um, I Listen, think it's debatable. I put the L in yolk. Who cares? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yolk. Just tell us oh, what you think about the scallop. I say February. Jeff. I Not wish a... you could taste this yeah. because the lemon is killing it. It is unbelievable. I just learned something. The lemon just softens everything and gives a nice pop to it. The seafood's cooked perfectly. The pasta is al dente. What can I say? I'm in Sorrento. Oh, oh. Okay, it's delicious.